Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome to the next stage of setting up the PEFMC um, to get ourselves to go fly in. So we've got ourselves established on APU power. We've removed the ground power and uh, we've aligned the IRSs. Uh, as you can see from the, the last video, uh, we it's now requiring us to enter the IRS position. So this is the first page, the IDENT page has the engine rating 26K, so 737-800. So the first thing we need to do is position initialization. So I've already put in Bristol here, which has a database coordinates for the airport. That's to give you a gross error check. Um, this is on position initialization page one of four. So if we move to page two, you can see the GPS left and right. So you could compare that then with the airport charts for the position. Uh, what we can do here, make it quicker, line select one of those, they're both the same. Line select that, go back a page, and that then gives you some information on your screens. Okay, so now the aeroplane knows where it is in the world. If you go to route, we're going to do a flight from Bristol to Ibiza. So as you can see, because you told it you're at Bristol, it's already pre-populated this here, so you can just line select that into the origin and Ibiza IKO code L E I B and we call our flight number demo one down here we're already on the runway just to speed things up so we can get flying later on runway 27 and move to next page and then we need to start to input the route. Okay, so if I put up here now the flight plan, as you can see at the top, ATC clearance and underneath FMS. So that shows you the uh, routing that we expected to take today. So you wouldn't start the, the initial thing after EGGD is the SID, the departure. So we start with X more first. You might notice that the waypoints go on the right. And the airways will go on the left. So Exmoor, Upper November 864. Berry Head. And so on okay and here we go so sped that process up for you just whilst I went through the process of typing that in just to show you previous page on page three of three now for the route length so go back to page one that's where we started next page to fill that page next page to page three as you can see it gives you the activate prompt so we'll activate that route and execute the route okay so quite intuitive on this so it gives you the next option so it's going to say performance initialization so in here if we look on the flight plan again it's asking us for the cost index that isn't shown on there but we'll just select 10 not really relevant for this so the reserves if you look down below uh, the bottom left hand side it says FMC res that's 2275 that's the FMC reserves for you to divert to your alternate should you wish to. So rounding up 2.275 is 2.3. The zero fuel weight then on the right hand side. So you have uh, dry operating weight, the payload, zero fuel weight. So 55.336. So again rounding up 55.4. Into the zero fuel. Notice I've pre-selected eight tons of fuel, or thereabouts. Cruise altitude, flight level 370, we'll select. And to execute that. Okay, so the temperature at Bristol is 17 degrees. 
So we'll go to the N1 page, outside air temperature, slash 17. And then one last thing, the departure. So we press DEP arrived for the departures. We're departing from Bristol, press DEP. And we're flying the Exmoor 1X ray. So select the Exmoor 1X ray. And then once again, you can see that's drawn that in dotted line here. Execute. And then goes magenta. And that's pretty much it. That's put the route in for the time being. So with that route fully inserted, that could then be checked by your colleague. We then check that we've put the route in correctly. And if you have a look, you have uh, progress page one. LEIB will show you 848. And if we check back on the flight plan, that would show you that the ground distance was great circle distance of 770 and a ground distance of 913 miles. So you're looking for that as a gross error check to be somewhere in between those. Obviously, we haven't put uh, the arrival into the FMC yet. That's for later on. So I hope that all made sense. Uh, please feel free to watch the video again to uh, clear anything up. Uh, if there's any questions, please message them. And uh, next thing, we shall move on to the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.